Mbarara city and the surrounding communities have for decades been dependent on water from River Rizi. But due to the environmental degradation taking place along the river banks, the water is highly contaminated and its water levels have dwindled drastically. The water pipes area laid to draw the water from the river are now above the water levels as the river's conditions continue to draw concern from the environmentalists. This has caused shortage of water supply to Mbarara city and the surrounding community. When you look at the supply in, uh, in Mbarara, it lies so much on River Ruiz. But uh, River Ruiz has, uh, the banks of the river has been uh, significantly encroached. And uh, because of the river banks are no more, then we find a lot of erosion, a lot of mud just being dumped or washed away into the water and the water is brown and uh, this certainly increases the cost of purifying this water to a level that it can be made clean and safe for the users. We have had the continuous issues of raw water quality deteriorating because of the pressures on human, human population and also agriculture which are going on. You saw the river, river Ruiz looks brown like a coffee. And it's all about, it is now passing through farmlands. So these are challenges which have a direct implication. We have to be careful with our environment. With the moment we are not careful with our environment, we are just rating our own check of extinction. In a way of seeking for a solution to this problem, the government is planning to construct a new water treatment plant to draw water from River Kagera. The project is expected to cost 60 million euros, approximately 288 billion shillings. That water is going to serve all the communities along the road as you go to Mbarara. The total amount for the entire project is 126 million euros, of which close to 60 million is the Kagera water supply project, where we are building an intake on a river Kagera, that intake will take care of water for production, water for human consumption. Members of the Parliamentary Committee on Environment and Natural Resources visit River Kagera in a singular district where National Water and Sewerage Corporation is planning to draw 30 million cubic liters of water per day to benefit the people in Imbarara City and the surrounding areas. We support uh, expansion of water and also trying to bring down the cost of the water because that's quite important. One of the biggest challenges that we are facing for now is uh, inadequate financing and uh, certainly as parliament uh, we do appropriation but uh, you know this is the government that uh, the executive that is responsible for raising priorities and uh, when this is brought to our attention we definitely make an input and uh, anything to do with water we strongly support. We are finished in our meeting we are transferring the minutes.